Hello everyone, welcome to our session sponsored by Veritas. It's entitled Spend Less, Orchestrate More, and Maximize Your Workload Protection Strategy. My name is Anthony Cusimano. I'm a Solutions Evangelist here at Veritas Technologies. And I'm here today with my good friend, Mo Hassan. He's a Global Technical Alliance Manager with us. And together, we're gonna to be showing you some pretty cool technology that, that uh, correlates with Amazon Web Services and how we can really optimize and orchestrate and make you spend less when it comes to your data. So to start off, I'm gonna walk you through the optimization part of this presentation, optimizing your migration strategy. After uh, I present this, I'll swap over to my good friend, Mo, and he'll take you through the rest of the journey on how to maximize protection for AWS workloads. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right in to optimizing your migration strategy. Now, uh, the thing I wanna set up right up front is when it comes to uh, where you are in your journey today, whether you're 25%, 50%, 100% in the cloud, there's or in AWS, there's always the opportunity to add more and change. And that's really where the optimization comes in. So whether you're 25, 50, 100, and you're looking to improve or expand, we can always help in any of these use cases. And that's really what we're talking about today. So before we get into the what and the how, I first wanna talk a little bit about the why, because when it comes to some of the challenges that we've seen with our customers, especially when they're talking about their experience in migrating to AWS, the, you have to make sure you consider these three things first. And upfront is pairing the appropriate workloads with the right infrastructure. It is paramount that you're not just copy pasting what you have on-prem into your AWS location. One, that's not very considerate of the application or the infrastructure. You're, you're basically just doing a like-to-like. -like. And Amazon has so many amazing opportunities when it comes for translation into better fits for their own infrastructure. So it's important to consider that first. Secondly, underlying infrastructure complexities and dispersion. Initially ties into sort of a bigger picture version of the last point. Things like networking, things like the overarching infrastructure that's containing your applications and workloads. Understanding how everything talks to everything else is very key before moving anything into AWS and really understanding how we're going to maximize that communication strategy once we get there. Lastly, workload performance and uptime consistency during migration. This is a big one for us. We understand that you know it's not just a copy-paste maneuver, getting your on-premises work, on workloads into AWS. Rather, it's something that requires downtime and the ability to understand like how this is going to impact your customers and what they might be able to experience and expect on their end. So ensuring that we get as little to no downtime as possible, that is key, not just for us, but for you as well. And that's where our solution comes in. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about net backup resiliency for migration. So what you can see on the right, and I invite you just to take a look at your screen and really digest this, is an overarching architecture of our net backup resiliency platform working hand in hand with AWS infrastructure. So what this allows you to do is optimize data placement according to cost and control and requirements. We want to make sure that you're not just migrating a VM carte blanche to AWS and keeping it exactly as it is. Rather, we want to translate that VM into the right EC2 instance and the right size to maximize performance for that workload. Mission critical levels of availability and performance during data and workload migration. This means that we want to ensure that if that workload is needed to be online, if customers are interfacing with it, if it's something that's serving other applications in your infrastructure, we want to keep it online as much as humanly possible during this transition period. And if there is downtime, we want to minimize it to the smallest possible amount. Efficiently migrate a slice or even entire data center. Because we understand that sometimes these things are not just one fell swoops. It might be parts and pieces. It might be the whole darn thing. And the good news is, is we have options for both of those paths. When looking at this architecture over here on the right, uh, I invite you to take a look at the left side of that panel. You can see that we have the VMware Hyper-V and physical workloads paired with some, some physical servers. Everything's in there. And the two machines at the bottom, that's our VRP, our resiliency platform paired with net backup, is able to move all of those data or all of those different uh, services, the VMware, the Hyper-V, the physical workloads. It can move them in tandem. It can move them in chunks and pieces. And the good news is, is when it moves, it optimizes all of that data flow. So we only send over unique data into that AWS uh, availability zone on the right-hand side. So lastly, the complete migration testing through rehearsals with tiered out end, end orchestration. Because just clicking go, just moving the data, that's never enough. You have to make sure it works first. So what we actually do is 
if you, I can draw your attention back to that graphic, we're going to move that data efficiently and effectively, only grabbing the chunks and pieces that we need to recreate this infrastructure in the Amazon ecosystem. And we're going to build it out. We're going to store it there, but we're not going to turn it on. What we will give you the ability to do is run what's called a rehearsal. Now, this allows you to basically do a complete and total dry run, turning on all of those parts and pieces, orchestrating it, hooking it all together, running all the network bits, and ensuring that everything works the way you expect it to. Your on-premises infrastructure will stay online. It'll stay running the entire time. You won't lose any connectivity there. And it'll also continue to replicate that data. So if any changes occurs during the rehearsal, you won't lose anything. But you will be able to see exactly how you'll be functioning in that AWS instance. And then you'll be able to test it out, make sure everything works appropriately, see if you translated anything right or wrong, and, and truly understand what's going to happen when you finally click that go button and initiate that migration. And the same is true for if you're looking to do disaster recovery from on-premises to Amazon as well. Now with that, I'm going to introduce uh, some of our customers who've decided to go with this path to make their own journey a little bit easier. So we worked with Kyocera, who's a document solutions company. Uh, they manufacture and sell monochrome color printers, all kinds of different devices, crazy cool hardware when it comes to printing and document supply. Uh, their challenge was that they wanted to build a fully fruit, foolproof DR system to maintain its global su supply chain. And they wanted to do this uh, with on-premises, virtual resources, and AWS resources. So they only had one real solution to make this work appropriately for them. And that was to pair with both Amazon Web Services and Veritas Technologies. So their solution was to deploy the Veritas Resiliency Platform and a, use a built-in DR site on AWS with the help of our consulting services and our business partner, uh, Itochu Techno Solutions Corporation. So what this got them, again, you'll notice the, the graphic on the right, very similar to the one on the previous panel, but this is more targeted directly to their use case and what they did they were able to achieve 60% lower disaster recovery operational costs overall by using Veritas Technologies and Amazon Web Services. Their business continuity can be ensured even when uh, the IT staff was unavailable for disaster, and that's because of the automated ability that this platform gave them. If there was a network inconsistency, if there was need for them to fail over at any time, they had the option to just click a single button and initiate that failover. Uh, and we could give anyone in their company the ability to do that. Obviously, that's uh, something we want to keep, you know, so you don't give the wrong person the ability to press that button, but we could give that more to just their IT admin. Other people were able to carry that responsibility so it didn't just fall on the shoulders of one. They had fewer configuration and maintenance errors by using our technology to help migrate them into AWS. And lastly, the training can be done in-house using the zero downtime rehearsal function that I talked about on the previous slide. So they use those rehearsals not only to move their data and test their, their disaster recovery, but also to train themselves and get their expectations ready for if there was a disaster or if they did have to migrate their data. So they found great success by partnering with Veritas. So lastly, I just want to show you a little slice of our product uh, in real time and how this works. So what you can see here is just a sort of live demo of our resiliency platform working inside our latest net backup graphical user interface. So what we have is just a couple of different VMs. They're of type VMware. Uh, they're all being managed by net backup today. But we're able to use our net backup copy data uh, mover to air gap the data from point to point. So if we pop over to our resiliency platform UI here and log in, we can see we actually have two sites. That's the two circles there. Um, and they're able to manage and monitor all of these resources resources individually, even though that they're just being translated directly by NetBackup. So they're monitoring these resources. They're basically are able to set up uh, uh, resiliency for them, and they're able to tie this all together from the resiliency platform directly into NetBackup. And this is all included now as part of our NetBackup 8.3 launch. So you get all of this feature, all of this functionality directly from NetBackup today. So they're able to manage everything uh, seamlessly, simultaneously, whether it's VMs, physical servers, whether it's on-prem or to AWS, directly through NetBackup and the resiliency platform. So that's our demo. And that is my portion of the presentation. Now I'd like to hand it over to my good friend, Mo Hassan, who's going to take us the rest of the way to talk about how we maximize protection for our AWS workloads. All right. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, my name is Mo Hassan, and I'm responsible for Global Technical Alliance uh, with AWS uh, at Veritas. So today I'll be talking about how some of our enterprise customers take advantage of the deep integration between Veritas and AWS solution to maximize protection for AWS workload. So let's start with this. There's this misconception out there that uh, 
your AWS workloads are protected simply because you are hosted on AWS infrastructure. And to eliminate this misconception, AWS has provided a shared responsibility model. And based on that model, the onus is on customer to protect and back up all their applications and data. So it's a little shocking to see that 84% of admins still believe in this misconception. And, and that's what makes Veritas solutions ever so important, no matter what type of environment, whether you're on-prem or you're in the cloud. So at Veritas, we, we design our solutions based on the challenges many enterprise customers are facing, right? So challenges like lack of confidence on a single product or a single vendor uh, who can basically uh, meet the entire business needs. So you see various re So what happens for various reasons like merger and acquisition or simply uh, different groups are trying to do different things, uh, a lot of customers end up with a lot of point solutions. And those point solutions create silos, both data silos and operational silos. And at the same time, some of them have fear of consolidation on a single platform with vendor lock-in. Um, and uh, they don't like vendor lock-in because they want to be able to protect any type of data and they want to be able to recover it at any location or any environment that fits their strategy. So Veritas solves all these challenges with, you know, uh, it, for example, we have... Uh, we protect more than 800 data sources, which means you don't have to look for multiple vendors to protect your entire environment, which also means no data silos. And we work with uh, nearly all the storage vendors and all the cloud vendors, which means our customers do not have to fear the lock-in uh, with uh, uh, within a specific environment. So we give our customer this flexibility to recover their application and workload at any location and any infrastructure. So we provide a holistic solution to our customer, no matter where they are in their cloud journey. We listen to our customer and architect our solutions around their strategy. So if you are one of uh, Veritas existing or future customer, in your journey to the cloud, most likely you are somewhere between these three main stages. So first stage where uh, you have everything on premise and you're using cloud as a storage. A second stage would be, you know, you have somewhat of a hybrid environment where you're running some applications and workload on premise and some in the cloud, or you could be somewhere around the third stage where your entire infrastructure is in the cloud. So let's talk about the first two stages. So in both of these stages, uh, we're connecting your on-prem infrastructure to AWS. So basically, we're providing an optimized path from your on-prem infrastructure to your cloud. And uh, you've probably heard uh, that if, if, it's, if not designed properly, your cloud can become very expensive very quickly, and it is true how you design your infrastructure and what tools you use in this uh, is a very critical decision-making process. And this is where Veritas Solution comes into the picture. So based on this study, our joint solution saves about 40% on storage software and hardware cost and about 30% on personnel cost. So Veritas deduplication technology, also known as uh, MSDP, it helps our customers save a lot of money on network costs, storage costs, egress costs, and overall management costs. And the benefit of using the dedupe technology are very obvious. So our, depending on a type of data, our deduplication technology reduces the size of the data up to 95%. So for example, if you have 100 terabyte of data, now it's reduced down to five terabytes. So if you're in stage one and you were moving your on-prem data to cloud, so instead of paying for 100 terabyte of data, you'll be paying for five terabyte of data and save a lot of money on networking costs when you move it to, uh, from on-prem to cloud, you save a lot on storage costs, no matter which storage tier you use in AWS, and you reduce your overall management costs. Now, also, if you are in around your stage two, you know, the hybrid environment, uh, you may have a use case where you have to move uh, your data uh, back and forth between on-prem and the cloud. So on top of storage and networking costs, you will also be saving a lot on uh, egress charges as well. And our enterprise customers love these benefits along with, with other benefits like, you know, for example, for long-term retention, they can use Veritas Automated Storage Lifecycle Policies or SLPs. Uh, and if you're in stage one and two, and if you're deduplicating your data at source, we move that data directly to the cloud without rehydrating it. And if you move your data between different storage units, whether it is uh, between on-prem and, and cloud, or even between clouds, um, um, between different uh, storage tiers, you're using optimized deduplication or opdupe. Our solutions are cloud agnostic, just like I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can back up directly to the cloud without first backing it up on on-prem storage. 
and our solutions are available in in the form factor that fits uh, our customer's environment. So whether it's physical or virtual. So like I said, our customer love our solution as you can read one of our customer comments in this slide. So as you will be transitioning from uh, stage one and stage two to stage three, we will continue to work with you and provide all the enterprise grade features. So we will help you move your workload to cloud and we have multiple tools to do that uh, for different environments. So for example, let's talk about this recovery in the cloud feature. So during your stage one and stage two, you can continue to back up your VMs and images to AWS S3. We send the data and metadata together to uh, AWS S3. And when you want to recover that VM in the cloud, all you have to do is just simply get NetBackup back, net from AWS Marketplace, which is a very simplified licensing, and instantiate it on AWS EC2. Uh, and then connect it to the images that you already have uh, in S3. And now you're running your VMs in the cloud and you will be protecting them the same way you did uh, on-prem using NetBackup. Now you can automate this entire process using NetBackup resiliency. In AWS Cloud, we'll protect your VMs, EC2 instances, EBS uh, storage, uh, databases, just like we protect your virtual environment on-premise. So we'll be doing agentless snapshot backup uh, with all the enterprise features that you enjoy on-premise. And since Veritas has deep integration with AWS via REST API, you can use unified interface, you know, the single pane of glass across any environment. Uh, we provide region-to-region -region DR in the cloud, and also our resiliency solution provides resiliency across availability zones. So even an entire AZ is down, your applications are up and running, uh, and that service is provided by our solution called InfoScale. And if you're looking for AWS cloud experience on-prem, Veritas solutions are deeply integrated with uh, AWS Outpost as well. So now I want to walk you through an example of one of our uh, customer who use our, our joint solution to take their organization to the next level and solve some serious challenges along the way. So let me read Laura's comments regarding our solution here. Uh, deploying Veritas with AWS is easy and knowing that we can quickly recover in the event of a disaster is a win for us. So, so here, Laura from Peerless Clothing is talking about the ease of management and deployment and the recovery in the cloud feature that I just talked about uh, in the previous slide. So what kind of challenges Peerless Clothing was trying to solve when they uh, use our solution? So Peerless Clothing, uh, which is a great company out of Canada, uh, they are the largest domestic producer of fine tailor clothing in North America. And like many other enterprises uh, of this size, they have hundreds of VMs uh, and data in hundreds of petabytes across multiple sites. And they have many critical applications like SAP, SAP HANA, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, so on and so forth. And what they wanted was that a single vendor and a reliable vendor to protect all their environments. So they love the fact that Veritas protects more than 800 data sources. So any type of data source that they have today, or if they add any more data sources in the future, they want to make sure that this will be protected by the single and reliable vendor. And another uh, requirement they had was that in case of any issue at a primary site, they want to be able to recover it quickly uh, and reduce the downtime of application as much as possible. So this is a high level architecture diagram of how our joint solution works at Peerless Clothing and many other enterprises uh, of the same, uh, similar size. Now you can immediately see the simplicity of the solution. So in this diagram, you can see some of the many applications they have, and uh, and these applications could be you know either physical servers or virtual servers. And if you want to store data in local storage first and then move it to cloud, we can do that using the storage lifecycle policy. Or if you want to send the data directly to the cloud, of course we can do that too. And as we speak earlier, that uh, we can deduplicate the data. So in this uh, in the case of Peerless Clothing. They had 315 terabyte of data on premise. And when they moved it to the cloud using Veritas, they only had to move 16 terabyte, which is only 5% of the original size. So they had a great, they had great saving in networking and storage costs. And they're also set up for uh, instant recovery in the cloud feature that we talked about earlier. So they send the data to S3 and they move, uh, and basically they can automate this process where they can recover those images or VMs in the cloud. So using NetBackup, 
uh, resiliency, they, they have both backup and DR solution packaged as a single solution. So demo time here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier that even those customers that are running all the workload in the cloud can use NAT Backup uh, and get all the enterprise protection features. So in this demo, my colleague John Hanks shows us how easy it is to set up, uh, set up the protection mechanism in AWS using the NAT Backup. Using CloudPoint with NetBackup to protect cloud native assets is very easy. Once you've added the CloudPoint service to NetBackup, you simply need to configure the cloud providers you wish to use. The configuration is pretty straightforward. First, select a provider, then select the regions you wish to work with, and finally, provide the necessary credentials. After that, the server will automatically discover and categorize your cloud native assets. Assigning protection is even easier. It's just a matter of selecting the asset you want to protect, in this case, a virtual machine. And then you can go and assign the protection plan that meets your requirements. In addition, the same process can be used to protect PaaS applications. It's as easy as that. Protection is assigned and you are good to go. All right. So I said, as I said in the beginning, our solutions are holistic and comprehensive solutions. So AWS covers storage and backup world in five main use cases, and they are primary storage, backup, DR, migration, and archive. And together, Veritas and AWS have solutions that cover all these use cases. So we have deep integration with AWS services like uh, all the S3 storage tiers, EC2, EBS, and many other. And if you want to deploy AWS Outpost in your data center, we have great support for, for that as well. And for more details, simply Google Veritas in AWS and it, it will take you to our partner page. And you can check out a lot of white papers, solution briefs, and many other helpful information. Thank you very much for listening.